Okay, here we go. The first subject is lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi movie. <laughs> Captain's log, start date 2135. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Jeremy Carl's just got the DNA results back. And apparently, Luke, I'm not your father. <laughs> Commander Skywalker, bad news. We left R2-D2 outside, stand guard, and the council took him away for emptying. <laughs> I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. I've seen attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. <laughs> I've seen... <laughs> 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 There's a giant satsuma in front of the ship. <laughs> Go to orange alert. <laughs> First, there were snakes on the plane. Now the British remake. Wasp in a car. <laughs> you can't win, Darth. If you strike me down now, I shall become more powerful than... And get off, you prick! <laughs> <laughs> What is it, Captain? I've never seen anything like it in my life. Of course not, Scotty. It's the sun. <laughs> Since you have got your laser gun trained on me, I've got a bit of stubborn hair just here. <laughs> Permission to beam down to the Forbidden Planet. No. <laughs> I can see dead people. That's because I'm watching UK TV Gold. <laughs> Here are the sci-fi football results. R2D2. <laughs> C3P. Nil. <laughs> Look at all those fading, dwindling stars forced to eat bugs in a jungle. If you leave our protection, you will almost definitely die. Scotty, do you still want independence? <laughs> <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Go to your room. <laughs> Captain, I don't like it when you call me Spock Face. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Anne Widdicombe. <laughs> How many Klingons does it take to change a dilithium crystal? <laughs> Ten. One to change it, and the other nine to chastise him for performing such a menial task, but he's a member of a proud warrior race. 